Hello everyone and welcome. In this video, we're going to show you how to uh, register a custom domain name in Amazon Route 53 and then set up Amazon Workmail with that domain. So to start out, let's go ahead and go to aws.amazon.com slash workmail. And here you'll see the product page for Amazon Workmail. You can uh, read through this if you want to, to get more details on uh, features and, and benefits, pricing, there's FAQs, uh, but we're gonna go ahead and jump right into it. We're going to sign into the Amazon console. So I'll just sign in. And I use uh, Google Authenticator for two-factor authentication. So I just need to grab my auth code. And so here I am all signed in. So the first thing in order to use email with a custom domain is we need to register our domain. And so in this video, we're gonna do that with uh, Route 53, which is Amazon's uh, DNS service. We will see if we can find a open domain. And we'll just search for scale. Let's see if that's available. So we'll do scale to cloud.net. Check if that's available. It's available, so we will. Uh, add this domain to our cart and we will hit continue. We will fill out our domain registration details and we'll continue. Agree to our terms of service. We'll complete the purchase. Okay, so next it looks like we have finished at least the initial registration, so we will click go to domains. And you can see here, here's our domain name, scale to cloud.net. Uh, domain registration in progress, and it will stay in progress. It may take 20 or 30 minutes for that to actually complete, but once it does, it'll move from pending to registered. So while we're waiting for our domain registration to complete, we will go ahead and we will open a new tab to Workmail. So just under uh, services in the search bar, you can type Workmail. There we go. And I will right click and I'm just going to open this in a new tab. Since we have not set up any organizations before, we get this getting started uh, message. We'll click get started. For this video, we're going to do the quick setup. And we're going to just use uh, scale to cloud demo for our organization name. Uh, I would say that uh, one thing you do want to note is that you need to choose uh, your region where you want your data stored. And so we're just gonna use US East North Virginia. And that's where we're going to create our organization and have our um, data stored. So scale the cloud demo, okay, create. So it's, it says your organization is currently being created. This process can take up to two minutes. Wait for this process to finish before adding users, groups, resources, domains, or mobile policies. So you'll see our status is creating. Once that's finished, it'll change to active. And I'm just gonna pause the video right here while we wait for that to complete. Okay, so we'll see now that our organization uh, is now active. So we'll go ahead and click on this link uh, in the alias column. And the first thing we need to do is set up our organization and attach it to uh, a domain name. And so what we will do here is we will click add domain and we will type the domain name that we just registered. So scale the cloud.net. We will hit add domain And so then we are presented with two steps. 
that we need to complete. The first is verify domain ownership. And we do that by adding a text record on the domain. And then the second step is finalizing the domain setup uh, by adding the MX record and then these C name records for uh, DCAM and auto discovery. So I'm just going to go back over to our Route 53 tab that we had open under pending requests. I'm going to refresh and I see that our domain registration is still in progress. So at this time I'm just going to pause the video and wait for that to complete and then we will continue our setup. Okay, so it looks like our domain registration has completed on our pending request page. The domain name is no longer present. So if I click on registered domains, I should now see my scalethecloud.net domain. So I'm going to click on that link for our domain and then manage DNS. And then I choose my domain name again. And then I want to uh, create record sets. So we still have this page open for our Amazon work mail. So first step is we need to verify domain ownership. So we're going to do that by creating a text record and for this host name, and we're going to give it this value. So we're going to copy everything up to that first period. And we are going to create a new record set paste in that subdomain. This is a text record. And then I need to come back and I need to copy my value. We will use a simple routing policy. And I hit create. And so now I see my text record here. And I'm just going to go ahead and we're going to do all of these other uh, DNS records as well while we wait for that text record to uh, get verified. So the next record type is an MX record, and it needs to have this value. We copy everything, including the period at the end. So I'm gonna create another record set. Uh, for this one, I do not need to enter anything in the domain name because it is for uh, scalethecloud.net. Um, I'll put in my MX the value and then we will hit create. So we now have an MX record. So if we come back over to our work mail tab, we created the MX record. So we need to create these four C name records uh, on our domain. So for this first one, we're going to copy this auto discover. We'll come back to route 53. We're gonna create a record set. And paste in the subdomain. That's a C name. We will grab our value. So everything here, including the final period. And we will hit create. We will come back and we have another C name to create. So we will copy everything, including this domain key portion, uh, all the way up to that period, the second period there. Copy that start a new record set, paste that in. This is a C name as well. Copy our value. Hit create. Go back. We'll do this third C name. We'll copy everything up to there. Start another record. Paste in that subdomain. It's a C name. Grab our value, paste it in the value field, hit create, and we will go back and we will grab our last C name, everything up to there, hit create record set, it is a C name, and we will finally grab our last value, put it in the value field, and hit create. And at this point, we now have all of our DNS records set up for our domain. As soon as our verification completes, then our domain should be connected uh, with our email. So it does show now that we are verified. So we'll just go ahead and click close. 
So we see our domain, it's verified. And so now we can do our management and administration from the items in this left menu. So we'll just click on users and we will create a user. And I'm just going to make up a username. We'll say John, first name John, last name Doe. And we'll hit next and password. We'll just make up a password here. And I need to choose the domain that I want this user associated with. So I, I could use scale the cloud demo .com, but I want to attach it to my custom domain name. So I'll choose scale the cloud.net and I will hit add user. And so here is my new user that I just created. If I go into organization settings, then I can see under the general tab, web application, I have this link that will give me access to uh, the webmail interface. So if I just click this, and so I'll put in username John and password. And I am now signed into my email. So let's just send a quick test. So I will hit this little plus icon up here and I will say I'm going to send an email to John at scalethecloud.net. I'm just going to send a test email to myself basically. Test mail, test mail. I'll hit send. And there we go. My email has arrived and we have completed our setup. Thank you for watching and stay tuned for more videos from Scale the Cloud.